We always try to do interesting things when we marry um, heritage work with, with new work. I think with this one, we've dovetailed the two together. There's a little bit of blurring the boundary between what is old and new. We're in the inner city of Melbourne, uh, in Richmond, just on the edge of the city. The house hadn't had anything done to it for a long time. The back of the property was um, quite ramshackled and, and sheds and old structures and lean-tos, but beautiful location and the front of the house we wanted to, to celebrate and utilise. We try to be faithful and authentic with respect to the old works. Certainly with this house, you come into the original old entry, but then you pass through a brick wall that we created within the interior that defines the threshold between uh, the old and new. There is an entry hall or arrival space, then you very much come into quite a modern open plan kitchen living dining space. Initially we had a certain strategy for the design which had the new works further forward on the property. Through the process we were encouraged to push the new works even further back in the property. We were encouraged to retain the existing house more fully and the roof and the chimneys in particular. The exercise of designing in this context, everything is uh, relatively tight and you always have to be mindful of and attentive to maintaining the amenity of your neighbours, so overlooking and overshadowing is are always key consideration. And certainly the balance between old and new and doing that in an authentic and respectful way. So there's, a, there's an inherent contrast between the old and the new. We've got red brick for the old dwelling and all the details that go with that. And then there's a the contemporary edition, which is quite pared back, very simple. It's a very limited palette on the exterior. It's a rendered finish and there's some steel detailing. Uh, but then when you come inside, we've essentially got a bagged brick, a concrete floor, a timber ceiling, and then through the joinery, there's some veneer, there's a beautiful stone, and then stainless steel on bench tops. The main kitchen, living, dining area of the house does sit underneath the old existing roof. It's not as absolutely clear cut that we sometimes have with the old house and then we sometimes put a break and then do new work. The dynamic between the inside and outside of projects for us is always critical. There is only one sort of key outdoor entertaining space so that feeds directly off the main kitchen, living, dining. We want to be able to flow seamlessly between inside and outside through the glazing and external door design that we've incorporated. There was a restraint shown through the entire design and then there's small details that uh, are put in to give the overall design point of difference. Simple things like the way the joinery is pulled off walls to make each piece feel elemental and almost like each piece of joinery is uh, an item of furniture. And then things like the stone detailing, running the grain on an angle was just to take a slightly different approach, an unexpected approach there's a circular detail that is recurring through uh, joinery handles and there's not a lot of decoration and adornment. There's various light effects that come through, not just sunlight directly coming into a space or diffuse light coming through a skylight. There's also unexpected things that happen through a design process. The way light um, penetrates a space, sometimes it's not as you imagine. You get these um, delightful surprises when the client commissioned a sculpture for this project. It's had this uh, beautiful unintended phenomenon of the light catching on the stainless steel elements of it and that light dancing in the space a little bit like um, the reflection of a pond. We've created a world for them within the suburb. A home is their sanctuary and essentially we're trying to create a little private oasis for them. There's also a refinement that's evident through the design while delivering on that comfortable, warm environment that our clients can just enjoy. Published three times a year, the local project hard copy publication contains over 350 pages of curated insight into the latest architecture and design across Australia and New Zealand. Printed on exceptionally high quality paper stock, the publication is designed to be read and enjoyed over time. A beautiful and valuable addition to any personal library or coffee table. Our latest issue, edition number six, contains 20 projects from Australia and New Zealand's leading architects and interior designers as well as stories on industry-leading and emerging furniture designers and local distributors. Discover the latest projects such as The Sandcastle by Luigi Rosselli, his son Raffaello Rosselli, and interior designer Romy Olwell. 
Corner House by Archer. Chenier by Emerging Studio East Top Architects. The award-winning Eight Yard House by Studio Bright. And Pearl Beach House by Polly Harbison Design in collaboration with Arendt and Pike. With worldwide delivery available, have the hard copy print publication delivered straight to your door three times a year with an annual subscription. Head to the description of this video to subscribe to the triannual print publication.